Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and it's Tips and Tutorials Tuesday. So today I'm going to teach you something that's really easy, but it helps a lot when it comes to using text in a design. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to make a scored outline on the item that you're making so that you know where to place your text. It's really easy, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it today. So let's start real, with something real easy. Let's just make some text. Um, I'm using Illustrator. You can use anything you want because this part is really easy. Let's say we're going to say Mark's room is the text. Uh, we'll make it really big so everybody can see it. And I'll choose a big chunky tech, or big chunky font. Uh, how about, I think phosphate's a really nice one. So uh, let's go to phosphate here. Uh, we'll use solid. And then real quick, I'll close the letters up so they'll be touching each other. This will make it all that easier also. And um, then I will change the line spacing so room is right up under it. And uh, then we'll have them centered like that. So let's say that's what we're doing. And we're going to put it on a rectangle sign. Of course, it's going to have a stroke and not fill. And that's great. We'll just act like this is what we're doing. We'll center it because uh, that makes sense. So uh, I'll align it vertically and horizontally. And there's our sign, okay? So now we want to make this easy for us to place the text. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select the text. I'm going to right click and go to create outlines uh, in Illustrator. That's how you change it from text to a shape. And so now it's outlines and you see right here that where they overlap, uh, I want to join that or union or unite. So in Illustrator, I'm going to go to Pathfinder Unite. And now these are all connected. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do an outline. Uh, so we'll go to Object path and offset path object path offset path and uh, it defaulted to the last I used before so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a negative 0 0.01 whoops sorry negative 0 0.01 offset so it's going to be just barely inside the letters that I already have and I'm going to change that offset uh, to a red stroke so that I can see it a little easier and then I'll change the fill to no fill. And now if I go here, I'm going to separate these two pieces here. Um, I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to uh, change this uh, other one to have a black stroke as well and not a black fill uh, like this. And so now if I move this outside one, you'll be able to see that, let me move it out of the way. And so this one right here is the original one we drew, and it's just ever so slightly larger than the other one. Let's do the same thing here. I'll change that to black and uh, no fill. Oh, and you see I didn't get the M connected, but we won't worry about that for now. We'll just change this as well with it and uh, no fill. And then I'll grab that one and move it out of the way. And then grab the black one here. That's the red one. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging. You got to zoom in to find the uh, the outside one there. And now I've got the letters ready to cut here, and then I've got the outline that's ready to score onto my sign, so that when I put these letters, when I cut them and put them on top, if I get them right placed correctly, right placed correctly, they're just going to barely cover the outline, so that you won't see it when you glue it on. But then it's a lot easier to line this up, get it straight, and put it in the right place. I hope that helps you score the lines underneath and do an offset path of negative zero one and your life will be a lot easier. Have a great one. I'd love to see what you guys make.